Hi, good morning. Are you ready for tomato mania? It's happening. We are getting ready. Uh, it's getting really, really exciting because we have all of the stuff out on the tables. Uh, we're adding it out. We're still adding and adding and adding and adding. Uh, it officially kicks off tomorrow, uh, which is super, super exciting. So thank you so much for tuning in. I'm your host today. I'm Sarah Smith. I'm a horticulturalist here at Rogers Gardens, and this is a Thursday uh, edition of the live stream. And let's talk tomatoes. Let's get into it. And I want to introduce... Dun, da, da, da. <laughs> this is Scott. Uh, this is the tomato mania mania, uh, yeah, right? I'm the maniac. maniac. I'm the, I'm <laughs> He's the, the maniac. tomato maniac. That's how that works. <laughs> so, Scott, tell us a little bit about how long you've been doing tomato mania and how long we've been holding it here. Because I don't even know the answer well, to well, that. We're here, mm -hmm. uh, and I think some of these viewers will know this. Yeah. We probably were there at our first year. <laughs> it's been 11 years. Wow. So okay. we've been 11 years here. Nice. Um, this started at a nursery in Pasadena way back in the 1900s. <laughs> and then we, we brought it, we, we took it on the road, basically, when the nursery when had to close. And that's mm -hmm. why we're here. That's exciting. And, and love being here so yeah. we've been we've been doing this um down on down on the beach here since what is that 11 12 whatever and mm -hmm. uh we love it we're building it every year we try to be more exciting it gets and bigger and year. bigger every year too um, yeah yeah that's our job we try to yeah. step out in front and do you know do really and offer really different things yeah. every year and that's what we're happy and excited about this weekend every week yeah, yeah. So it is kicking off tomorrow. Um, we have hundreds and hundreds of different varieties. How many do you grow alone? I will, in my Ojai test garden, mm -hmm. I garden in Ojai, mm -hmm. uh, in my test garden we'll have about 140 plants. Oh, I have three test gardens, okay. but in Ojai we're about 140 plants nice. and we'll do about 80 varieties. That's amazing. So I don't yeah. do, I, I do sort of, a, it's a Noah's Ark of test gardens for me. <laughs> one of these, two of those, one of these, two of those. And yeah. we, you know, we, we grow them, we don't baby mm -hmm. them. It's sort of a, it's sort of almost a tough love garden. Yeah. Because that's what we figured we have to do. Right, yeah. Uh, plus I'm 140, that's a lot of <laughs> that's work. That's a lot of to work. To keep up with. Yeah. So I'm not, as, I'm not as large as some, and I know some of you guys <laughs> do more than that. But um, that's what we try to do. And I also have a, a test garden in Camarillo, so we mm -hmm. get a little beachy sort of testing with right, some of the yeah. new varieties, right? And then one up in Santa Ynez. Yeah. So, uh, so that's, that's what we do during the summer. And mm -hmm. I have a little. I have a little special garden outside the kitchen door as well. Like, Just yeah, for like yours. A lot of people do. Yeah, and, yeah. And of course, those are tests as well. That's awesome. That's awesome. So the tomato of the year this year is bronze torch. So that's this table right here. Ooh. Bronze torch right there. So it's a Juliet type, right? It is a yeah. Juliet type. I, I know love you can't Juliet. see that very well, but you can find it on the Roberts Rogers website, of course. And it is a. It's an elongated cherry. Mm -hmm. So it's a deep brick red, which, by the way, is very trending in in tomato fashion. Yeah, these it days. is. Uh, if there there right. is tomato fashion, there believe is. It. Yeah, you believe it. You know that yeah. all of our yeah, there right? totally is. All your new yeah. cultivars, all yeah. your new colors, all of that. Yeah, but well, it happens obviously in tomatoes too. It does. Yeah, it is. Uh, if you know Juliet, and we love Juliet, I love Juliet. It's on that mark. Sometimes rounded, okay. sometimes with a point. Yeah. Um, again, deep brick, brick red with dark green stripes. Yeah. That deepen as the season goes along. Okay. It's a cool. little lighter. You'll even yeah. get some gold flecking and gold stripes on it when it's uh, you know when it's yeah. really happy. Yeah. Um, it's amazing. It starts early. It finishes late in the season, so you get a good long season. Right. Yeah. Um, my grower. What's in interesting? Juliet fashion. I look at these. I look at these plants, and my grower, as we're loading these on the truck the other day, said, "This plant is a beast." Yeah. Oh, I like hearing that. <laughs> yeah. And I know it. This is what we. This is this is part of the reason why it's the tomato of the year. Scott, it's talk a little louder. Tough. Okay. It's tough. It is. Um, again, you get a super long season, and what we all want, obviously, is really great tasting fruit. It's got that in spades. It is so amazing. And a really different fruit. I told, we did, the LA Times was interested in it. We talked yeah. with them about that this last week. And I, I, I told the writer, I said, I really did travel with a little bag of these last year. And we tried, I, I kept sort of handing them out, doing <laughs> samples wherever I could, right? What do you think of this? What do you think of this? And without fail, people were really excited. So. Yeah. It's uh, it's different. It's beautiful. It's tasty. You get a long season. That's all the reasons why it's tomato of the year. Yeah, that's that's super exciting. I know the year before was lava flow, and then we had right. Thornburg's terracotta. Right. And again, all those are those kind of deeper, redder, well, bricky kind of pretty get, beautiful unique, colors. Unique yeah. colors. We yeah. want unique colors. Obviously, yeah. we want everybody to have an exciting garden, and that's one way we can do it. So each year we look for those, we look for that special quality or that new wrinkle or that whatever. Mm -hmm. It's going to be really exciting. That's what we found again. That's super exciting. Okay, so what in the world do you do with all your tomatoes? 
<laughs> so do you have my so freezer is very full <laughs> what can i tell you yeah um i we we share because i need to get people's input on stuff yeah um i have fa favorite restaurants who end up growing Ooh, much of what we do lucky. or not growing cooking yeah much yeah. of what we do when we can and we're excited about that yeah um i share like yeah. again like everyone does That's you awesome. know when we have too many tomatoes right they go to the next door neighbors or the people at work or family or whatever and that's all good we yeah. like that a lot and and so that's part of what the season is about isn't it right it yeah really is. yeah totally you, you grow it and if you grow it well yeah. and we'll help you do that mm -hmm. um you inevitably have too many yes which is a lovely problem yes it is and we can yeah share. we can share and share and share yeah. like Speaking of having too many, we have a really nice uh, little paper here. Uh, it's printed on really beautiful paper this year. Um, but this is a list of all the tomatoes that we're hoping to get throughout the season. Um, most of these we already do have, I've noticed, on the tables oh, that they're already out. Awesome yeah. Here, um, and then also peppers, too. Don't forget peppers. Suzanne did a really, really great um, video on Tuesday about peppers. So if you didn't watch that, check in for that. So she's talking about the different varieties. But if you look at these lists, especially Especially the ones that all of us horticulturalists here have on our clipboard uh, some of us look like we're trying to solve a mystery case or something <laughs> there's so many notes there's so many highlights uh, this is my list it's not too crazy um, buying too many tomatoes is a very common thing that happens here in tomato mania yeah. I am telling myself 10 it I'm trying hard it I'm trying hard to well, you stick fall to in that. Love. You know, that's what I you know do. it you really walk happens. This and we'll we'll do all we can to yeah. you know, tell you everything we, we know in a, in a very. There's space. great information on all about, of these tags. Yeah, about what we what we know about it. Yeah, and hopefully it fits into your strategy. Yeah, you know, it yeah, it fits into your your you know your backyard. Yeah, I'm I'm hoping for ten. <laughs> I'm probably going to do more. Yeah, I know everybody. I've, I've been seriously. I know I've been telling everybody I'm only going to do 10 and I know I'm going to probably go over, but One um, more pot, it's right? just so amazing. And talking about pots, we have really good dwarf varieties this we year. Have. We had great dwarf varieties last year. It looks like there's even more this we year, more this right? Year. Yes. Yeah. The dwarf, the whole dwarf variety thing has been a, a, a sensation for us. Now we've carried dwarf varieties forever. Yeah. But this is again, that new wrinkle I talked about. Mm -hmm. Um, there is a group of small hybridizers all over the world who started sharing genetics of the of these new dwarfs. Yeah. So now we have heirloom dwarf tomatoes that are indeterminate. So they have all these great qualities. You, so you can right. get a late season. You can get all the colors that you find in in the heirlooms. You can mm -hmm. get um, the lobes, the stripes, yeah. all of that in the dwarf set. Yeah. But they're manageable. Yeah, yeah. So there are there are micros, which you mm -hmm. know many people will do in a pot off the back, you know, on the on the back. Patio, right, like tumbling right? tom is one the of those. Tumbling yeah, tumbling tom is one mm -hmm. of those. Where that one will fall, you can put that one yeah. in a hanging basket. Yeah, that one's um, great. Then you have a you have kind of a standard dwarf, which mm -hmm. is that, but a little bit larger. Yeah. And then you have what's called a tree type dwarf, which looks more like a standard tomato, but it only gets two and a half to three feet tall. Right. Yeah. And so super manageable in a pot. Very much so. Um, you know, I don't know if we talked about this, but I've been telling people stories because last year in mm -hmm. test gardens. We actually planted hedges. Really? Dwarfs. Oh, that's awesome. I could see how that would work. We yeah. Them, we plant, you know, yeah. Normally, how, yeah. You, need to, you need some distance mm -hmm. when you plant a standard right. tomato because they get big. Mm -hmm. We literally planted eight to 10 inches apart. Yeah. Easy to stake, one little line. Yes, right, that's true. Right, at about a foot and a half, two feet. That makes sense. Attached to that line. We, you can get so many of these dwarfs in a small space. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. And I, you know what? I, I think I'm going to put do in our trial garden this year. Okay, wait. Is, sorry, I'm going to pause you. Sarah, oh, can okay. you give your mic to him? We sure. don't have an extra mic today, everyone. Okay. Sorry so, about sorry about that. So, <laughs> we tried. Yeah, we we tried. tried. It wasn't connecting. Yeah. So, okay. it's a technical difficulty. Since you're asking the questions and I know you're loud, you're going to have to talk okay. louder. Okay. Scott's okay. answering most of the questions, so he's going to get the mic. And we can't show the tomato varieties, everyone, because there's so many. And go on the website. There you go. Check the website. Because yeah, there we have the website. We have the varieties on rogersgardens.com, yes. but we can't physically show, because they're just the plants right now. Yes. They're not the actual tomatoes. Yeah. Oh, how we wish. Wouldn't that be nice that if you could really taste nice. all these as you buy them? Oh, that, that's, that's heaven. That's okay. heaven. Where was yeah, I? We were talking yeah. about hedges. Yeah. Hedges. All right. I don't want you to miss the baby, this. The baby tomatoes. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't want you to miss this. Yes. We, um, I, I was saying we, we planted them really, really close together, which makes them, because they're smaller, makes them really easy to control, yeah. harness, whatever you want to call that. You don't need a big cage. Um, but one of the things that I'm going to try in the tomato test garden in the ground this year is I'm going to plant a standard tomato and a dwarf and a standard and a dwarf That's and a, a standard idea. and a dwarf. And what I think that will do is imagine that you'll have more room for your standard tomato, yeah. a pie, 
right? Yeah. More circulation, more sun, more all that. The dwarf's going to do fine. But it's also, they're really fat and the leaves are very rugose. You hoard people yeah. know what that means. Yeah. They're thick. They're fuzzy, yeah. right? It's a, it's a different quality or character of the tomato in most of them. And they're very thick. Yeah. So your smaller tomato or your dwarf tomato in between will sort of act as a mulch, will sort of act as a protector and create a cooler microclimate underneath the larger tomatoes. So I can't wait. I'm going to do that. Large, small, large, small, all down a row. And we're going to see if maybe that works. This means I'm going to get more tomatoes than 10 now. That's see how see how close totally you can plant them? It's going to be amazing. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah. It's, it's really exciting, all that. And there's also, too, there's so many people now that uh, are, are in apartments. There's younger and younger and younger people getting into gardening. Absolutely. So that that whole ability of being able to grow something on a patio, even if you don't have a yard, people are constantly asking what tomatoes they can do in a pot. It's That's been a question perfect. ever since I can remember doing gardening. Um, and so it's great that we have varieties that work so well and you can put multiples in pots. I did that well, last year in, with the dwarfs. With the small yeah. ones you can. You know, a lot of people yeah. come to our events and they almost apologize for having to grow in pots. Right. Yeah. And we see, what? It's come great. on, yeah. this is an amazing way to grow tomatoes. Yeah, so this just, this whole set of yeah. these tomatoes mm -hmm. turns you loose. Yeah. You really have a, you really have so many great options. Yeah. Um, in a, Again, in a pot outside the kitchen door. You're, you're a farmer, boom, right. one pot and you're in. Yeah. And we, you really should try that. This yeah, year. yeah, it's super great. And we're getting, we're getting in all the peat pots this year, which is really nice. So all that stuff's gonna start kind of filtering in. Uh, tomato cages, my favorite tomato cages, those collapsible round ones. <laughs> They're amazing, aren't they? They're yeah. the, they are a little bit of an investment. I typically buy like one or two extra a year. Uh, I finally have gotten enough for my space, uh, but we are gonna get those back in. Those were a hot commodity last year. We sold completely out yes, really we early did. in the season. We had no more. Um, what's nice about those four legs, uh, they are collapsible, but because of those four legs, those three leg cages are so well, it's wonky. very true, and yeah. this is this particular model. We like again. There's always something new, right? A better yeah. mousetrap. Yeah. Um, this this style cage entered the picture probably about ten years ago, twelve mm -hmm. years ago. The collapsible cages, I love them. but these have not only are they sturdy and collapsible, but they also they have more rungs. Yes. They have more tall. circles. Yeah. Rather than rather than big spaces between them, yeah. so they actually do the job better. Yeah. So they're 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 a terrific piece, or you know, they're a tool. Yeah, this exactly. is a tool, not yeah. unlike a, a trowel or a shovel. Yeah. A tomato cage is a tool that helps yeah. you do better gardening. Yeah. And that's why we, one of the reasons why yeah. we love it. So we're getting those in, we're getting the peat pots in. So if you are growing in pots, they're a cheap, inexpensive way to do a nice big plus, size container. Plus they yeah. don't heat up. Yes, exactly. Yeah. The, 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 the paper pots, yeah. the, the peat pots, they don't they don't carry or they don't reflect the right. heat that plastic pots will. Yeah. And where do we put our pots? Yeah. On a patio, <laughs> asphalt, <laughs> driveway. Wall that's really hot. Bingo. Yeah. Uh -huh. Bingo. That's so that's so that, you know, mm -hmm. for you container growers out there, keeping yeah. that root ball cool yep. is the it's the answer to a good season. Yeah. Yeah. Or the it's, solution to it. It's great. So yeah, stuff starting to filter out on the tables, tons and tons of varieties. You can go to the website and check out some of the varieties there. Uh, we are closed for pre-orders officially, um, but you can come in starting tomorrow. Everything's going to be out and available. Um, we have these gorgeous lists. Not everything we have on this list is on the website, um, but you can come in and pick up that list and kind of start train uh, like picking now and deciding what you want. Uh, so if you want to swing by today and grab one of those so you can start researching, I'm telling you, by the time I'm done figuring out what I want, it's going <laughs> to seriously look like I'm trying to solve a murder. It's just like, and I'll bet, I'll bet we have some, sur I'll bet we have some surprises <laughs> that aren't even on that list. You might, I, if you I look know, closely, yeah. you may, you may some find already. some cool stuff that has arrived that, uh, that isn't on yeah. the list. Yeah. And peppers too. For all you pepper lovers, uh, I've gotten more and more and more into that every single year. It's, you fun, it's, it's amazing what's out there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's really, really exciting. So yeah, biggest tomato mania of the year. This is the official this maniac of the tomatoes. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you come by tomorrow, nine o'clock. Come in, get your tomatoes. Stuff sells out so fast. Always, always our tomato of the year sells out. Um, get those specialty varieties that you really, really want. We will keep restocking as much uh, as possible through exactly. the tomato season. Uh, but you're going to have your best bet of getting everything you really kind of want in one fell swoop this weekend. Uh, and we are officially now open till six o'clock instead of five o'clock. So uh, all you people need to come right, in after work. Out run in grab your stuff uh thank you so much for ah, it's coming great to be here being here look it's, forward to seeing you this yeah, week and, and all bigger of it. and bigger and bigger and bigger
bigger. Like, that's what we want. Eventually, we're gonna build a second story over here and put tomatoes. <laughs> and the greenhouse, here. and I got it all. We got it all. Over yeah. We got yeah. it all, all planned out. Yeah, yeah, great. Okay, thank you so much, you guys. Um, make sure that if you have any friends that are super in tomatoes, you're tagging them down below and letting them know that this is happening. Because the worst thing ever is when you figure out the tomato mania has already started <laughs> and you come in too late and stuff is sold out. So make sure you tag everybody that you come in. Uh, make sure that you're checking out our YouTube page. Tons of beautiful, beautiful videos there for all kinds of things. Any sure. question you have, there is a video for it on the page, absolutely. Make sure you sign up for your email list too because that's when you're gonna know that Tomato Mania officially starts. I get so many calls from people going, when does it start? And I say, sign up for the email list so you know when things are happening. Because we have spring opening coming up really soon, which is a beautiful event that you don't wanna miss. So you can definitely know when it starts so you can be the first one to come in, roll in and see it uh, at the very, very beginning. That's really a great thing too. So thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys coming in. It's always so fun to have you come in and say hi uh, and say, oh, I watched your video this morning. It's always really great to talk to you all. Uh, and this is gonna be a really amazing season. Uh, keep me accountable. I'm not gonna buy a ton of tomatoes this year, okay? She Everybody has. ask me. She totally will. <laughs> I already have like seven fold. I'm, oh, I'm getting close to my 10 mark. So That's it. Uh, yeah, come on in. We're super excited to see you all. Thank you so much for joining us. And be, Glad to well be here. and be safe and happy gardening, everybody. Bye. See you later.